Hey y'all, Coach and Fight here, guys. Stay so with me. Shalom. And in today's class, we're going to be talking about when is the Day of Atonement. Mm -hmm. Now, I brought Stacy in um, as a special guest on this class. Normally, I don't include her on this type of class. But I wanted to bring her in because this is one of the first classes we've done in a while, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a lot going on around here? Yeah, we've been busy. You want to tell them anything about all of that, what's going on? Um, One of the things that we have going on is that our son, our oldest, our firstborn, yeah. has came into town and he's living here. Um, with us on the homestead. And this is the first time he's been around our family for any length of time since 2016. Yeah. And of course, that was before we actually got on this journey. Mm -hmm. So we are almost a completely different family than what he left. Yes. Yeah, we may look the same, but we're not the same at all. Mm -mm. So you guys could imagine some of the transitions that we're making here at the homestead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've been focusing more on putting these fires out than they got then the YouTube videos so right, yeah. but we are in this holy day season so it's important to um, get some content out and people always rely on our videos or our channel for the dates of the feast days yeah I've noticed in the comments that people are asking so. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so that's what we'll do is go in and just look and see when is the day of atonement right all right so let's come over and first let's look at Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 26 which is where you start to hear about the day of atonement all right verse 26 says and the Lord spoke unto Moses saying so these are the Lord's feasts you know, yes. not necessarily the feast of the Jews, but mm -hmm. these are the feast of our creator. Also on the 10th day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement and it shall be an holy convocation unto you. And ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Now, we've done a lot of classes on atonement day. Yes. Um, especially this affliction of the souls part. And uh, one of the places I would suggest people go to read about this is that in Isaiah chapter 58. Right. It tells us what true affliction looks like. Mm -hmm. So we really want to study on that so we can make sure we get that part right. Mm -hmm. And also the book called The Shepherd of Hermes in Similitude 5 where it's talking about a true fast. Right. We've done many. We've done classes on that, right? Many classes. Yeah. yeah so you guys can get links to those when you're trying to see what exactly you're supposed to be doing on that day. But we're concentrating more on when that day is. And it says here on the 10th day of the seventh month. Right. Now, when we come over to timeanddate.com, which shows us the calculation for the beginning of the new month, uh, particularly the seventh month, we see that it started on about the seventh you see the new moon there on the 6th, but that's a 0% moon. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're following a sacred calendar, somebody has to actually see the moon for themselves. We yeah. can't just take a computer program. We can't take his, the, the results, you know, of that algorithm to determine our feast days. Right. Right. But when we come over to a website called truthofyahweh.com, we can see where people from around the world have cited the new moon for the seventh month. Yes. Mm -hmm. And from everywhere, uh, Rhode Island, Jamaica, you know, just all over the world, um, people are allowed to uh, give their reports of the new moon. Mm -hmm. And then we can see that there was reports in Arizona on the seventh. Um, there were reports in Florida on the seventh. Right. Indiana and Iowa. Georgia. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so yeah. there have been a sighting. Yeah, and we actually saw it ourselves. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. praise our Father in Heaven. We were able to get out there and actually see the sighting of the new moon for ourselves. So we can officially declare that the 7th right there at sundown was the beginning of what we know as the new moon day or, and or the. And the memorial blowing of trumpets. Yeah, we blew the trumpets all night that night on the yes. 7th mm -hmm. and even into the 8th, which would have been the first day of the month. Right. So looking over here at another calendar from timeanddate.com, it's calling it Heshvan 1 because the Jewish calendar is off by a month in the year 2021. But anybody watching this video already knows that, right? But that would have been um, day 1, beginning that evening on the 7th. Right. And day 10 that we're talking about will be up here around the 16th. Yes. Mm-hmm. And ye shall do no work on that same day, for it is a day of atonement 
to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. So this is why it's important to get this day right. Yes. You know, we can't just pick any day we want it to and say, you know, this is what's going to go down. Mm -hmm. This is going down universally. You yeah. Know, I want to say uh, globally, but it's even extends beyond our earth here. Mm -hmm. these, these, this festival is a universal festival and it happens on this particular day, mm -hmm. you know. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And this explains a lot of the state of humanity, you know, because we don't really keep up with these days as a whole. Yeah. Talking about all of humanity. we Most of humanity is in this cut off state. Yeah, you know, some people think that, you know, just as long as you do it. But it is important to um, get the the correct date yeah you got to do it right because like you said this is a universal thing that's going on and you know you can imagine a world if we could do it anytime we wanted to you know someone would read this today and be you know expecting to go out and, and do an atonement today and they'll just be wasting their time yeah because you know a lot of us do things you know that are convenient for us so if mm -hmm. that day wasn't convenient for us we wouldn't do we'll it choose but another he, day he he gives us an exact day or else he could have said you know, any day. He wouldn't have mentioned the day at all. Right. It wouldn't have been important. He just said do it once a year. Mm -hmm. You know. Ye shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generation and all your dwellings. Again, this is this is leading to the importance of getting this day right. But I really want to get us to this verse thirty two. It shall be unto you a Sabbath of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at eve. From even unto even shall you celebrate your Sabbath. Okay, so we're back here. We're looking at the seventh. This was the evening of the seventh that began day one. Right. So the evening when the sun went down on the eighth would have began day two. Mm -hmm. Sunset on the ninth would have been day three. And if we continue that pattern, we'll see that it's sunset on the 16th that starts day 10. Okay. But now that's what he was talking about because notice how I'm stressing and saying at sunset. Mm -hmm. Because verse 32 says from evening to evening. Yes. Right? So what this is referring to is that when the sun goes down on the evening of the 9th, Yes. You've been in the whole day of the evening on the ninth preparing for this, which will be what we will call the 16th day of the month. Mm -hmm. But then when the sun goes down on the 16th day of the month, do we start this affliction process? Of our souls. Of yeah. our souls starts on the evening of the 16th day of the month. Okay. And I'm trying to stress this. It's, it causes confusion. And I hope I'm not confusing anybody. If I am, let's, let's continue it down in the comment section. It is actually... The 17th day of the month that will be the whole day of atonement. That that whole day will be the affliction of your soul. Okay. Well, let me count it again. You got, if you count it this way with the 8th being day 1. Yes. The 9th being day 2. 10th day 3. 11, 4, 12, 5, 13, 6, 14, 7. 15 will be day 8. 16 will be day 9 and the 17th of October will be the 10th day of the month mm -hmm. but you have been afflicting your soul on that day you will be have been afflicting your soul since the sun went down the previous evening yes and so that's why he's saying you know it's stressing evening to evening mm -hmm. otherwise somebody may wait till the full day of the 10th to you know start their atonement process and then they would have missed they will have actually missed it because it actually started at sunset and it's been going all night long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here you are just coming late to the party. Yeah. You know. Missed a good portion. You, I think. you missed a, uh, in my opinion, you missed the, the most important portion, that portion that happens while we're asleep, you know, and our spirits are allowed to travel. Yeah. And do it. I believe a lot of this that goes on on Atonement Day is happening in the spirit world. And, you know, so I believe a lot of it is concentrated around those times when our bodies are inactive mm -hmm. and our father can do with our spirit what he wills. I agree. All right. So we just wanted to let you guys know when it was. So we're looking at starting it on the evening of the 16th mm -hmm. and fasting or afflicting our souls the full day of the 17th. And again, we advise you to go to look at Isaiah chapter 58. Yeah. And, um... The Shepherd of Hermas, uh, chapter 5, and we may just put this portion down in the comment section or the uh, description for them to read Hermas and what he says about fasting. Yeah, 
And Isaiah um, 58 gives you a wonderful um, explanation of yeah. exactly what a real fast is. Yeah, they both say the same thing. It's just that, you know, one complements the other. Yeah. Yeah, so, all right, um, we hope you got anything out of this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you didn't, um, please hit the dislike button. But leave us a comment either way, and shalom. Shalom.